Hi, this is a tutorial, this time not about Maya or After Effects, but instead about um, some online web design software, uh, a company called Squarespace. I'm sure many of you have heard about this, but I use this for my own website, visible science, uh, visible visible science, uh, where I can, you know, post tutorials, um, the type of work I do, biomedical visualization and forensic visualization. And if you're like me, I do work in the field, uh, sort of this kind of high tech graphic design field, but with 3D animation. And I don't really want to learn how to do web design. I've done some in the past. It, it just doesn't really interest me. I just want an easy solution. And so I use Squarespace for hosting a portfolio page and all that sort of stuff you see here. So I'm signed in as the user. Um, now, if you use Squarespace, uh, one of the limitations, if you have the lowest subscription rate, which I do, is that you can only have 20 pages. Um, and that includes pages that are um, open to the public to see, and then also hidden pages down here that can be linked to. So you can make galleries and things like that, and then uh, put them in gallery blocks here in the hosted pages. So I was running up against this limitation where, uh, you know, I want to post Maya tutorials, After Effects tutorials, and I have some Maya tutorials, for example, that are dynamics, some that are modeling, some that are rigging, and so on. Um, but I didn't want to make a separate gallery for each of them. So the solution that I came to after reading uh, about this online is that, let's say if we look at my Maya tutorial page here, you can see that I've got a number of videos and I wanted them to appear as thumbnails like this with some description and, and title. And then when the user clicked on them, it would open it up um, in something like this, a window that wouldn't take the take you away from the site. So you could just close it. So it opens in a light box. And I couldn't find a good solution for that, uh, just the way that um, Squarespace works. Um, and I didn't want to have a separate gallery for each of these. So the solution that I came to is to make a single gallery in your sort of offline pages down here. And you can put as many different uh, videos that you want in them. So I just made a, a gallery and then I can add videos like this. So if I click on here, then I can embed an URL. Now let's just cancel this. And I will go into YouTube, go to my channel, and just grab a video that I haven't posted already. So something like this, using the command line renderer. Rendering in so my going to copy that URL through the user interface, or it can. And go back in here, and I'll add a new video. Paste in the URL. Now it should find the title and the thumbnail. Now I'm, I'm making custom thumbnails for all my videos now, but this one I haven't done yet. So you just get this thumbnail and I can write a description of the video here, right? So I can save and publish. If you just save it, it'll keep it as a draft so it won't be visible to the public. So you can see this is a particles video, so is this, but here's a modeling video. Now what you want to do to separate these is add different categories for them. So I've I've gone into the settings for this video and I'm clicking on categories and you can see I have a number of different categories here. And I'll create a new one, uh, rendering. Okay, so that's tagged with this category. Save that. So now you can see this is a single gallery with different videos and if I go into this one here you can see this has got dynamics and particles as the tag and so if I now go back to my public pages and uh, where I have my tutorials here in my tutorials so let's say I create I edit this page I go down to the bottom and I put in a new line Maybe I had one already. And then I want to put in, not a video here, I want to put in a summary, and not a gallery, but a summary. So I'm going to choose grid, because that's the type of layout that I want. You can use carousel or wall. 
So I've got to choose the gallery and these are all the galleries that I have created in both my visible and hidden pages. So I've selected Biomedical Maya Tutorials. And then I want to, under display, under category filter, type rendering. Uh, and then you can see it pops up down here. Now you see if I made a new summary block and I choose the same one and choose display and go to the category, let's say I just want my dynamics videos to show up, then I can do it that way. Or if I just want my modeling videos to show up and you can do it that way. So it's really handy actually, because what I like about this is that it shows that it's a video, it prints the uh, title below it, you can add a description, and then when you actually click on one of these things, if I save this page, like I say, it opens it up here in Rendering a player in that doesn't take the user, user away from the, or it can be done your website, the which line. the other gallery uh, options I was looking at uh, would do that. And it also, the real benefit for me is that it just grabs the, the video thumbnail that I've created in YouTube already. So just in conclusion, if you want to make um, a, a video portfolio page, then I would suggest making an offline gallery here. So this is a gallery here. Uh, so just create a new page as a gallery. And then it, you want it to be in this area. Unlinked pages are public, but do not appear in the navigation. You, they can only be seen if they're somehow linked to in the public uh, or the seen pages. And so then in whatever page you create, so I created a page called Maya Tutorials, which is a subsection of this folder, Tutorials, which appears in my um, my homepage navigation. And then in this Maya Tutorials page, just put in different summaries. So that's the, that's the block that you want to use. It's a summary block. And then um, have everything, every video you want in that single summary block. So it's only taking up one page of your 20, but then using categories to select which videos appear in different sections. And you can use that not just on a single page, but I could you know, put it here in my biomedical animation page as well if I wanted to. I did this page differently. And in fact, I'd probably go back. I'm going to redo this one with this new technique. So the 20 page limit in Squarespace can be very limiting, a limit that's limiting. Um, but there are some workarounds to, to optimize your use of those pages. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'll get back to Maya and After Effects after this.